I'm making blackberry cheesecake squares. Who doesn't love cheesecake? I'll start by making the cheesecake crust. I'm using a package of vanilla wafers for the cheesecake crust. A lot of times I use graham cracker crumbs, but there's just something about vanilla wafers. They're a little bit sweeter, a little bit more of a treat, and they make a delicious crust. I'm just adding about a half a cup of pecans. I love the flavor of the pecans and the vanilla wafers. Okay, then I'll just crush these up. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna pulse the machine while I drizzle in a stick of melted butter. This will just help the crust come together. Okay, that's just right. Now I have a pan that I lined in foil and then sprayed the foil with nonstick baking spray. Now I'll just grab the crumbs and just pour them right in the pan. They smell so good. I could just grab a spoon right now and eat it as a snack. Okay, now I'll just use my hands to press it evenly all over the surface of the pan. The crust is all ready. Now I'll move on to the filling. And that's three eight ounce packages of cream cheese. They've been out for a little bit, so they're pretty soft. Usually when I make cheesecake, I make them in regular round springform pans. But for potluck, I always think that things should be in neat squares so when people go through the line, they can easily serve themselves. Okay, and then I'll add a cup and a half of sugar. Cream cheese and sugar. What a combination. Okay, and then I'll just splash in about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And then I'll just whip this till it's really fluffy. <laughs> so I'm gonna crack in four eggs. Okay, just keep going. Third egg. Last egg. All right, now I have a package of sour cream. I'll add four ounces, otherwise known as half a cup. Just plop it right in there. That looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, so creamy and delicious. I get to lick the bowl, as usual. I definitely need a spatula. I don't want any of this to go to waste. Oh my goodness, who invented cheesecake? I think they should be sainted. All right, I just get all of that in there. Goodness gracious. One of the most beautiful sights in the world. Okay, I'll just spread it out so it's in a nice even layer on top. All right, now I'm just gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. I topped the cheesecake with this beautiful blackberry topping. I'll tell you how I made it. So I threw a pile of plump ripe blackberries into a pan with sugar and water. Then I brought it to a boil and simmered it for four or five minutes. Then to thicken it slightly, I mixed up a slurry of cornstarch and water and stirred it into the blackberry mixture. Then I boiled it for another minute or so. And when it was cooled, I poured it over the cheesecake and popped it into the fridge to set. I'm hoping the foil will just lift the cheesecake right out. And it worked. I love it when that happens. And then I'll just cut it into really neat squares. I've got a really sharp serrated knife and that makes it easy to slice through the blackberries on top. The other benefit to cutting the cheesecake into squares and putting it on a platter is that sometimes you can sneak a piece and no one will ever know. All right, all cut into squares. Now I'll just take the squares and get them on the platter.